Hi, Thinkers and Tinkers. Welcome back to Gravener's Public Library's Thinkers and Tinkers Lab Home Edition. As always, I'm Jen, and I'm with you every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. doing fun STEAM activities. So that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics activities that you can do at home. Today is Technology Tuesday, and we're tackling animation. Today, we have three goals. Number one, to learn what animation is and how does it work. Number two, to talk about and learn about the five different kinds of animation. And finally, number three, to make an animation of our own. For today's activity, you'll need two things. First, a writing utensil. That could be a pencil, a pencil crayon, it could be regular crayon, markers, or even a pen. I'm gonna use a pencil because it erases the easiest, so I can fix my mistakes. Number two, you're gonna need some kind of paper, a stack of paper. So I'm using a sticky notepad, but you could use a notebook, a pad of paper, or just paper stacked on top of each other. Whatever you have kicking around the house. Got everything you need? Let's get started. First up, what is an animation? Well, an animation is a cartoon. It's the process through which we give the impression that drawings, models, and even inanimate objects are moving. You probably know a lot of different cartoons. You might know Pokemon, Paw Patrol, and Frozen. All right, we know what an animation or cartoon is, but how are they made? Animations are made by playing drawings, one after the other, really, really fast. Each drawing is called a frame. That's a really important word to know, so remember it for the rest of the video. Do you see each of the individual photos on the screen right now? Those are all frames. I made each frame by taking a picture, moving a little bit, taking another 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 picture, and so on and so on. Next, I took each frame and played them one after the other really, really fast to make this clip. In the top left-hand corner, you can see all of the photos or frames. Underneath of that, you can see all of the frames being played one after the other very quickly. In the top right corner, you can see the video clip that's made out of photos. Let's watch it all together one more time. It took a total of 56 frames, or photos, to make that short two-second video clip. Let's watch the video one more time. To make cartoons, animators do something really similar with drawings, like the ones on the screen. If I were to play each of these drawings, one after the other, really, really fast, it would look like the character is running. Check it out! Okay, now we know what animations are, cartoons, and how they work by playing frames quickly one after the other. It's time to talk about the five different kinds of animation. Animation number one, traditional animation. Traditional animation is hand-drawn, which means that animators or artists had to draw each frame one by one, which takes a lot of time. Additionally, traditional animation is two-dimensional, 2D, which means that they're flat. Some examples of traditional animation are classics like Mickey Mouse, Looney Tunes, the old Scooby-Doo's, and Disney's Cinderella. Check them out.
computer animation. 2D computer animation is very similar to traditional animation. Both are two-dimensional or flat and they're drawn frame by frame. The difference is that traditional animation is hand-drawn with paper and pencil, where 2D computer animation is done on the computer. Have you ever played in a program called Paint on your computer? Have you heard of Photoshop? 2D computer animation is done on the computer in programs that are very similar to these. Examples of 2D computer animation include Phineas and Ferb, She-Ra, The Princesses of Power, and My Little Pony. Animation number three, 3D computer animation. Like 2D computer animation, 3D computer animation is done on the computer. The difference is instead of being flat like 2D, 3D has volume, it pops out. You can see the difference in this picture. Some examples of 3D computer animation are movies like Moana, Toy Story, and Finding Dory. Stop-motion animation is both similar and different to the last three kinds of animation. Like traditional animation, 2D and 3D computer animation, stop-motion animation uses frames. However, instead of using drawings in their frames, they use pictures of models or puppets. These puppets can be made out of clay or other fancy materials. Basically, animators will pose the model Take a picture, move it. 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 Over and over and over again. And then play the frames one after the other very quickly to give you a stop motion animation. Examples that you might know about are Kubo in the Two Strings, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and Fantastic Mr. Fox. Motion graphics are the most different kind of animations. They don't have a storyline like the last four kinds. Instead, they're just a fancy way to move around logos, words, and images, just like these.
how it works, and about the five different kinds, it's time to make our own. We're going to make a flipbook animation. Grab your paper. I'm using a sticky notepad. Each page of your pad is going to be one single frame of your animation. Pick a drawing or an animation sequence that is pretty simple to start. If you do anything too complicated, like a dog being shot out of a cannon off of a pirate ship that's being eaten by a shark, it's going to take you too long to draw it. Try something more simple like a sun moving across the sky, the moon setting, uh, a firework exploding, or a balloon floating away. I'm going to do a heart balloon that's floating away into the sky. What will you do for your animation? Have your idea? Great, let's start drawing. For those of you who are interested in doing more awesome animation activities, I've put some links in the description of this video. One of them will teach you how to make a zoetrope, which is basically an old tiny animation machine. Pretty cool. Some of the other links are going to teach you how to make optical illusion animations and stop motion animations all your own. So check those out. Alright everyone, we did it! We finished another awesome Fingers and Tinkers activity. Great work! We learned what animation is and how it works. We learned about the five different kinds of animation and we made our own flipbook. I would love to see your flipbook videos, so please post them in the commenting section under this video. Um, besides that, I would ask you to share this video so your friends can see it, like it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, I'm Jen and I'm with you every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. with more fun STEAM activities. I'll see you on Thursday, Thinkers and Tinkers. Have a good one.